So when we work with magic, we often um, take into consideration the cycles that happen. So we may take into consideration the cycle of the year, um, or it may be the cycle of a moon. But we can also take into consideration the cycle of the week, and the days of the week, and also the hours. So I just want to have a look at the days themselves. All right, so let's get into that. Welcome back to my channel, and uh, if this is your first time here, or if not, then uh, please hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you know when videos are coming out. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can also hit the join button. Uh, if a particular video um, helps you in some way and you want to say thanks, then you can also leave a super thanks. All right, um, so days of the week. Now, when it comes to the days of the week, we find that uh, throughout history and throughout different traditions and cultures, particular deities have been assigned to the days of the week. Um, for instance, Tur on a, on a Tuesday, Woden on a Wednesday, on um, Thursday we've got Thor, on Friday we have uh, Frigga or Freya. Um, so, you know, from the Norse pantheon, but we also have the uh, Roman pantheon and you know, there's there's associations with um, deities and the calendar throughout, but I think the most common and the most used is probably the um, seven celestial bodies, the planets. So if we start our week on a Monday, we would have Moon or Luna on Monday. Tuesday would be Mars. Wednesday would be Mercury. Thursday, Jupiter. Friday is Venus. Saturday is Saturn. And Sunday is the sun, or soul. Um, so how do we actually work with this? First thing to do is to have a look into what the planets actually represent, what, what forces they bring, how they, they push things, um, how they influence things. Um, so for instance, if we look at the moon, moon is a very watery type of planet. It affects the waters of the planet, it affects the waters of our body. Uh, we have the ebb and, f ebb and flow of the tides and things like that. So when it comes to the moon, any type of magic which requires an aspect of timing is actually very good to work with the moon. On Mondays you can do magic for wisdom, intuition, things like that. Very good for divination. Um, so if you want to do any kind of card readings, specific card readings, uh, if you want to do any scrying or anything like that, um, divination is an excellent, excellent time, or, or Monday is an excellent time to actually do divination work. Um, also fertility spells. Fertility spells are very good for a Monday. Um, now when we talk about fertility, we're not just talking about getting someone pregnant. Um, you know, that's human reproduction. Fertility is about bringing about or creating something. And also abundance. Um, so if you have a, a new project that you want to start, then you can use fertility spells to actually get that project or create that project, bring it, birth it, bring it into existence. Um, you know, um, procreate your project, your project basically. And when it comes to abundance, you can use fertility spells or fertility workings there. Um, you are sowing the seeds, basically, um, to bring about abundance in the future. Um, and again, that comes with timing. Uh, you need to do one thing before another thing happens. It's got to grow, so you actually need to sow the seeds at the right time. Um, if you don't do them sow the seeds at the right time, they're probably not going to come to fruition. Same thing with using the annual cycles. If you sow your seeds at the wrong time of year, nothing's going to happen. Sow them at the right time of year, you're going to get crops, you're going to get flowers, plants, everything else. Um, so, you know, timing is quite important here as well. Um, so Monday, very good for fertility uh, and divination and timing. 
Right, Tuesday is Mars. Any god or goddess of war, really. But um, Mars is a god of war. Um, a very passionate type of energy. Now, when we say, talk about a, a god of war, um, it's not just about fighting and, um, you know, war and ammunitions and armaments and things like that. Uh, you can use the Mars energy for protection and for any kind of um, retribution or justice or anything like that. So, um, very good for, for cursing um hex magic and and in that area you can also do workings to bring strength and courage um, and also assertiveness if you are a very passive person like i am um, then you often need you, are, you find times when you need to be more assertive um, you need to put your foot down and say no and Often for passive people, that can be extremely difficult. So you can work with Mars to bring a bit more of that into your life so you can create a bit more of a balance where you need it. Um, something that I very, very much battle with, I was born during a Mars retrograde, so I am a very passive, um, I'm kind of like the passive Mars um, energy. <laughs> um, you know, this, this year... Mars is going retrograde, retrograde at the end of the year again, so I'm looking forward to that, I must say. All right, Wednesday is Mercury, communication. Um, Mercury was the messenger of the gods, um, so all about communication, bringing messages. Yeah, a good time to sign contracts um, and things like that. Um, so very good time for opening channels of communication and manifestation. Uh, if it's if you are doing a working in a business aspect, this may be a time or a day when you want to try and open those channels of communication with um, new suppliers, uh, new customers, um, things like that. Um, if you're in a job situation, you may want to open a, a channel of communication with your boss or the CEO or something like that. So a very good day to do that. Um, and have a look at contracts. Now, we get a lot of Mercury retrogrades. I think there's three or four every year. So we do find ourselves in Mercury retrogrades quite often. During a Mercury retrograde, during any planetary retrograde, um, the best thing to do is the opposite of what the, the normal movement of energy is. So in the normal movement of energy, you would be <clears throat> signing contracts, opening communication, um, and, and everything within that area of communication and manifestation. During a retrograde, you want to call it kind of take a, a step back. So do the same thing, but rather look at what's what you've done in the past. So review everything, um, uh, recap. So as far as contracts and things go, you want to have a look at the contracts you've made and just review them, just make sure everything's still in order um, and everything's still moving the way you need it to move. Um, so it's very much just taking a step back, just relax, don't worry about it, but just review everything that's, that you've done uh, up to now. Wednesday is also Woden's Day. So if you are um, studying or working with runes, um, great day to actually do rune work because um, Woden, Odin, Wuthin is the god of the runes. So, brilliant day to do that. Then, moving on to Thursday. Thursday is the day of Jupiter. Um, and Jupiter is very much all about abundance, expansion. Um, so, it's a day to do workings for luck. Um, and also bringing about abundance. Um, expanding your current state your current position. Um, so doing money magic, um, doing magic which will affect your job or your business in a, a, a positive and abundant manner, um, bringing, about, bringing about prosperity. Um, yeah, Jupiter's excellent for that. Um, on the opposite side of that is Saturn, which we'll get to just now. Um, so whereas Jupiter is about expansion, Saturn is about contraction. All right, so Friday, Friday is the day of Venus. 
Um, and if we look into the Norse pan pantheon, Freya, um, so these are the goddesses of love, romance, and also sex. Um, so I find Friday is a great day to do sex magic. Um, you've got that, that energy, that passionate sexual energy, which is just flying around all over the place. And I always find Fridays just, I, I prefer to do as least work as possible on a Friday. It's kind of like my take a break day. Very rarely happens, but you know, something always pops up. But it is that the uh, the day where I I don't want to I don't want to do my work. I just want to just be happy. Um, and fr just Friday just feels that, like that day for me. So Friday is about uh, and it's about friendship. Um, you know, if we look at the energy of Venus, friendship, relationships. Um, so you can do love magic, um, you can do sex magic, you can um, go and see your friends, um, go out for the evening, go watch a movie, whatever it is. Um, just spend some time with the people that you care about and that's Friday. Alright, so Saturday, Saturday is Saturn's day. And as I said, Saturn is the opposite of Jupiter. Um, it's very much about contraction. Saturn is often considered to be the planet of death, um, but it's also the planet of rules and confinement and keeping things in their place. So Saturday you're looking at um, doing protection magic. Um, this goes often goes hand in hand with Mars. Uh, from a protective point of view. So on both days, Tuesdays and Saturdays, you can do protection magic. You can um, create a protective amulet, for instance. Um, but Saturn is very much about keep sticking to the rules. Um, so it's a good day to actually plan things. Um, you know, a lot of people use Sunday to do their planning for the rest of the week. Saturday is actually quite a good day to do it because as I said it's all about rules and planning and confinement and getting things in the proper order um, he's the task Saturn is the taskmaster so great day to do your planning and also a good day to do banishing work um, if you want to get rid of a bad habit for instance um, and like Mars very good day to do work about revolving around justice um, and retaliation or retribution or something like that um, because it, it, it's the planet which represents death. Um, so Tuesdays and Saturdays, are very I find them very similar. The energies are quite similar except that the, the big difference is that Mars is kind of like that, the berserker type energy. That's the, you know, scream and and shout and everything else and going with with guns blazing and swords swinging or axes swinging um whereas saturn is more your your rules your confinement um refining things to a, to a definite point and then throwing it so more like a spear so mars is your berserker flying into battle with an axe wielding and saturn is more your spear your your precise um, you're hitting your target at a precise moment and a precise point. Um, so that's the big that's the big difference I feel there anyway. And then Sunday, Sunday is Sun's Day or Soul Day, and Sun is represented or, or shown as being gold. Um, it's very much a reflection of the color gold and the material itself, the metal. And so this is all about. Uh, vitality and success. Now, some people will assign healing to Mondays. Um, I prefer to assign healing to Sundays um, because of that energy, that gold, that golden vitality. Um, it just it it feels more healing for me. Uh, so healing healing work I do for myself anyway on a Sunday. And um, also prosperity and abundance again. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's associated with gold. 
So it is that abundance and prosperity and wealth. Um, so if we if we take Sunday and we compare it to Jupiter, um, Sunday, you know, we've got all these different aspects when it comes to money magic or financial sorcery. Um, we have wealth, prosperity, abundance, and money itself. These all mean different things. Um, wealth, wealth is something which is attained and accumulated. Um, abundance is the growth of something. Prosperity is something different. So you know, just keep those in mind. Find out how you best define these these words, and then assign those words to the different things. So, Jupiter is about abundance. If, if we had to define them, Jupiter is about abundance, growing things. Um, Sunday is about prosperity and wealth, checking where you are, um, checking what needs to be done in order to bring about more of that wealth and prosperity, and then putting that into action during Thursdays, which is the day to bring about the abundance. Um, so, you know, you can just uh, work with it that way, really. Now, there are cases where you may want to mix two types of energy. So um, the easiest one to talk about would be um, love magic where you need a lot of passion. Maybe you're in a relationship and the passion is dying out, um, the sex is just becoming normal and you're worried that it's going in a direction where it's just going to end because, you know, it's just died. Um, and you want to bring some passion back into your relationship. You want to get um, some heated sex going. So what you can do is use, do your magic on a Friday, but do it during an hour of Mars. And I use an app called Astro Clock. I'm on um, Android. I'm not sure if it's on iPhone, iOS. It should be. It's called Astro Clock, and it's it, it's particularly for um, showing you when the um, uh, planetary hours are and you obviously put in your time and it works out the sunset and the sunrise and it works out the planetary hours etc etc um, so a very good app for finding your planetary hours makes life a lot easier uh, but um, yeah so you can do you can work on a particular day for a particular energy a particular type of magic or aspect but if you want to bring in the energy of another planet, then you can do it on that day, but do it during an hour of that other planet. If you really want to um, boost your magic on a particular day, and it, all, of the, all of the aspects, all of the energy need to revolve around that particular planet. So if you're doing something on a Sunday, and you really, really want to boost that energy, do it during the hour of the sun. Um, so you've got sun in sun. So you can work with the, the days of the week and the planetary hours very successfully um, in order to just really get what you want. Um, I do like working with the, the days and the hours. I will say I, I'm, not, I'm not a stickler for it. I am, if I do need to do some particular work and it doesn't fall on the right day or the right planetary hour, but it needs to be done then, I'll do it. Um, it doesn't mean it's not going to work. You'll just find that the, the added benefit, the added energies that come with the day of the week and the planetary hours just help your magic, so it boosts it a little. Um, but it, there's no reason why you cannot do a, a particular working on a t totally different day. Uh, but... You know, if you are, if you are um, doing a daily practice, uh, what you might want to do, which I try to do as best as I can, is um, assign a particular type of practice onto a particular day. So Monday, you might want to practice divination work. Um, Tuesdays, you might want to do protection work. Um, you're not going to always want to do protection work every day on every, every single Tuesday, every week. Um, but it's a good time to do protection work. You can go around and just check your wards. Um, you can do some, you know, you can make a protection uh, amulet for yourself or someone in your family. You can make a poppet for your house. So there's lots of things you can do on Tuesday to do protection work. 
Um, but you may want to do work uh, which is more about bringing you courage and, and making you more assertive if that's something you need to do. So Tuesdays, do protection work, Mars work. Wednesdays, uh, if you are working with the runes, great day to do rune work. Um, you know, Thursdays, you can do abundance magic. Uh, Fridays, you can do sex magic, um, etc., etc. So you can actually assign a particular type of practice for each day and then just revolve them, repeat them each week. It means that each day you're doing something different. So, you know, you're going to keep your practice going. It keeps it fresh. So it's quite nice to do that. All right, so that's it for the days of the week. Um, and I'll uh, see you next week then. Have a good one. Cheers.